After the announcement that Bruce Dickinson would leave the band, they auditioned hundreds of vocalists and decided to choose Blaze Bailey, formerly of Wolvesbane, in 1994. After a two-year hiatus, the band released The X Factor in 1995. This was the band's lowest chart position yet, debuting at number 8 in the UK. This was believed to be due to the mixed reaction of the new singer from fans, and the fact that bassist Steve Harris was experiencing a marriage breakup. The band toured in support for this album before releasing Best of the Beast in 1996. This was the band's first compilation. In 1998, the band returned to the studio and released Virtual Eleven. The chart positions for this album were the lowest to date, failing to reach the 1 million mark in worldwide sales. Although this album featured a fan favourite, Future Real, which was considered Bailey's best song. At the same time, Steve Harris was remastering the entire discography of Iron Maiden, which was later released. The Iron Maiden video game, Ed Hunter, was released in 1999, alongside the compilation of the same name. In 1999, Blaze Bailey left the band by mutual consent. At the same time, fans were shocked at the announcement of singer Bruce Dickinson and guitarist Adrian Smith rejoining the band, and replacement Yannick Gers would remain. With the addition of the third guitarist, the band took off on a hugely successful reunion tour, the Ed Hunter Tour. After the tour, Iron Maiden released Brave New World in May 2000. This album reboosted the band's popularity. It featured favourites such as The Wicker Man, Brave New World and Blood Brothers, all of which had thematic influences. The Brave New World tour supported this album and featured the Rock and Rio show, which was recorded on the 19th of January 2001. It was released in March 2002 under the name Rock and Rio. In September 2003, Iron Maiden released their 13th studio album, Dance of Death. This album featured a lot of historical and literary influences. It featured the first Iron Maiden song co-written by drummer Nico McBrain, New Frontier, and is the first album that includes all members getting a songwriting credit. The Give Me Ed Till I'm Dead tour and Dance of Death World tour were in support of this album. The Give Me Ed Till I'm Dead tour was from May 2003 through to August 2003, and the Dance of Death World Tour was from October 2003 through to February 2004. The Death on the Road DVD was a live concert recorded in Germany on the 24th of November 2003, and was released in August 2005. In 2004, the band released a 30th anniversary DVD, The Early Days, and undertook a history world tour in 2005. In autumn 2006, Iron Maiden released A Matter of Life and Death. This album is not a concept album, although war and religion are recurring themes in lyrics and artwork. This album achieved great success worldwide. It is the first heavy metal album to debut at number 4 in India and made it to number 2 in the Indian charts. It is also the first of the band's albums to reach the top 10 in the US Billboard charts. The Matter of Life and Death World Tour sent the band to many new countries and was the only tour to feature the entire album in its set list. The second leg of the tour was dubbed A Matter of the Beast to celebrate the 25th anniversary of The Number of the Beast. In 
In September 2007, Iron Maiden announced their Somewhere Back in Time World Tour, which ties in with the release of the Live After Death DVD. The setlist for this tour consisted mainly of hits from the 80s and a Power Slave era set design. The tour started in India in February and ended in Russia in August. During the tour, the band released the CD Somewhere Back in Time, Best of 1980 to 1989 in May 2008, which features songs from the band's first seven albums. Fans are now eagerly awaiting the announcement of a new album, With many awards of achievement, Iron Maiden have secured a place in history as one of the most influential bands of all time.